Don't you dare put that on me. What fascinates you about the life forces that can push an otherwise upstanding member of society towards a dark and morally compromised path? Well, from an acting standpoint, they're the most fun to play. When you have characters that are damaged to a certain point, complex, conflicted, flawed. But I think what is the key to getting an audience behind you on those is that they see that there's something else trying to get out, trying to be better, trying to improve. And as long as an audience sees that someone isn't just relishing being bad, they'll root for you, you know? Before we start, the words antagonist, villain, and antihero are technically not placeholders for each other. They all can serve different purposes. I might accidentally slip up and use them interchangeably, however, they are not. Because of this, I will generally try to refer to these kind of roles as a bad guy, and this would be the term for any character who makes morally or ethically questionable choices. Now, this is a very basic surface level word to choose, however I think it best conveys my thoughts in a simple manner. Let's begin. What makes a bad guy good? Why do we root against characters like Gustav Fring, but root for characters like Walter White? Let's look into that by examining the show Breaking Bad. Season 1 of Breaking Bad was released in 2018, and even now in 2023, Breaking Bad still holds a place in storytelling for its compelling plot, amazing characters, and great cinematography. The star of the show is objectively Walter White, and we will be talking mostly about him today. Walter White, the protagonist of Breaking Bad, is a complex character. He is a high school chemistry teacher who is diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, and decides to use his scientific knowledge to cook and sell meth to secure his family's financial future. On the one hand, he is a loving husband and father by the start of the show, who is willing to go to extreme lengths to provide for his struggling family. He has a strong moral code, refusing to use his own product, and struggling to kill a loose end who may report him, or, worse, kill him if he ever escapes. But on the other hand, we watch his alter ego, Heisenberg, slowly emerge more and more as the show continues. As Heisenberg, he is willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants, even if it means crossing moral boundaries. As it stands, Walter White is a complex, flawed, and sometimes even cowardly character that is both admirable and morally detestable at times. As you saw in the clip at the start of this video, a good, bad guy can't just be evil. You can't have the bad guy truly revel in his bad actions, or he is literally just a bad guy, more two-dimensional than Flat Stanley. So we can apply this to Walter White. Why does he start cooking meth? There are a few factors like his pride and his unwillingness to receive aid from others, as it makes him feel weak, that play into this. However, ultimately, he starts doing this because he wants to help his family have enough money to live comfortably after he passes away from his lung cancer, which the doctors say will likely kill him. We as viewers understand that hard drugs are bad, they are illegal, and the creation of them harms the individuals who use them. However, we're able to, in a sense, put that to the back of our mind because we don't see the effects happening on screen. We know that they happen subconsciously, but it isn't the focus. We also see that Walter White does not revel in what he does. He does not take pleasure from the fact that his drugs may ruin lives or cause overdoses. He only does it because he feels it is the only way to make a significant amount of money that can support his family before he dies. And that is what's key. It is not something he does for fun. It is, in his eyes, a necessity. He knows it's wrong, but he doesn't enjoy the fact it's wrong when he does it anyway. That is what's key to making us empathize with him as a character in the start of the show. And that is where I'll wrap up this. This is part one, which is just the basis of, you know, maybe I'll do another video about this. And if I do, it will be more specifically about his the second part, which is you can't show that they enjoy the evil. You also have to show their slow and gradual transformation towards being a bad guy. It can't be sudden. And that is the second aspect, but that's not what this video is about. I hope you enjoyed, and like, subscribe, comment, and, you know, have a nice day.